Welcome back to Jenkins Boatworks. In this episode, I loft from the plans, the center board, and the rudder directly onto the plywood so that we can cut it out. Okay, so here we are. I'm trying to figure out the dimensions for the center board and also for the rudder. And uh, it's the same scale it always is, uh, an eighth of an inch equals one inch. So I'm going to take some measurements, uh, I'm going to start on the rudder. I believe that this gauge here is to determine the thickness of the rudder and it appears to get narrower the further down and aft that it goes, which would make sense. So. In case you haven't noticed, we've never been able to see the plans very good before. I've moved the plans to the new shop on some drywall that I mounted on the wall. And uh, so, now I can see what I'm doing. So it's supposed to be 50 inches um, from the top down the back of the transom, down the rudder post, down to the keel. Be nice if it was 48 inches because then we could just use the width of the plywood and be that be our, our straight edge that would attach to the back of the boat. But it's 50 inches and I've measured it a couple of different times and there's nothing I can do to change that. And if I make it 48 inches, it's going to be a little bit short and I just don't think it's a good idea to stray from the plan. So now nah, how's the best use of this? I would like to get the rudder and the center board both out of one sheet because the ply was supposed to be doubled up anyway to give a double thickness. So this is half inch marine ply and uh, so you got to have two exact pieces cut out that are then laminated together both for the, the center board and for the, for the rudder. So if I measure this way, I can waste a corner over here and I can get to 50 inches. So there's a foot, three feet, and 14 inches. So, so I'm 50 inches this way and then I draw my rudder out in whatever kind of a triangle fashion it is. After a bit, I've taken the plan off the wall, and you can see that I've made quite a few marks on here, uh, lines in here that are coming out at 45 degree angles, and all that is just in an effort to kind of determine distances and trying to get this thing laid out. And this curve here is not is a bigger diameter than say this curve here and this one's a much bigger diameter um, so <laughs> we were just talking and we figured my high school geometry teacher would be all happy anyway so um, we've got it laid out on here and we feel pretty good the cur curves look pretty fair and the measurements work out to where we've got a pretty good pretty good drawing of of what it should look like. So I'm going to take the jigsaw and, and cut it out. Uh, just to simplify some of this, this angle here is exactly 45 degrees and that makes sense because when you put the transom on its form at the very beginning it's a 45 degree angle um, from, the, from the keel. In other words this this here, 45 degrees. So it would make sense that this angle is also 45 degrees because this is in line with the keel, the, the after lower edge of the rudder. So when you know that, then you can start figuring out your distances. We figure the straight line was 26 inches here. Uh, a straight line on this side was 34 and a half inches. And you can kind of double check a couple of different ways of uh, making sure that you're getting it right. 
Uh, this curve here proved to be very difficult, but we found out we had about a two inch distance between the straight line and the, and the apex of the curve. Is that a word that I should use? The highest point of the curve here, two inches. So what we did then is we figured, okay, how far is this distance? And it was like 15 inches, so we came in seven and a half, and then we went from here back out 15 inches. And then we just started drawing marks that were 15 inches along here and then just connected the dots and, and created our curve. So I'm, I'm sure there's other ways that you could do it. Um, but anyway, I think we're in pretty good shape. And I've got an awful lot of plywood left. I was all worried about not having enough to do the center board. <laughs> i got tons. And actually looking at it, this rudder... Uh, it really doesn't look very big for as big as the boat is, but we're going to trust that Hershoff knew what he was doing. So, all right. So last night we got the two pieces for the rudder cut out. And once I had the one cut out, then I just laid it on top of the plywood and traced around it and then cut the other one out. And the result of that is one is slightly bigger than the other, but once I laminate them together, then they got to be fared down and trimmed anyway. Now I'm working on the centerboard trunk or the center board to go inside the center board trunk. And so I'm drawing this out and it's quite a little bit more straightforward because there aren't so many curves like there was on the rudder. Um, you got a little curve, just a little circle down here at the front end. This would be the point where the pin goes in probably right about here. And again, this has got to be doubled up too. Um, basically, on this, uh, it's just a matter of looking at the looking at the plan and making measurements. The way they show this, they show with the center board being down extended, um, and you're supposed to have some lead in here for weight, which will melt and pour in there. But I basically took measurements off of the where it would line up if the board was up and uh, then just measured like up to here. You can see I've drawn some lines in here. And then I measure from here to here and here to here, um, from here to here. Just get the dimensions of it and then draw it out. And uh, it was actually pretty fun to do. Making this curve on the back was the trickiest part. But you can see I've got like a straight line down here from what would be this top corner here down to, to the bottom corner down here at the bottom. And then you can kind of figure what, you know, what the distance is. is about two inches in here um, and, and make your curve. I did that by um, 
drawn a couple of straight lines, one up to here, about seven inches, one here up to the midpoint, and then on up to the top. And then basically I just took this metal ruler and bent it, had my wife hold one end and bent it until I got a fair curve, which is this, this line here. So um, anyway, I've taken some more measurements, like I went up this whole distance from here up to here is 18. So at nine inches, I just drew a line straight across and then measured over to the edge of the curve here. And I'm, according to my measurement off the plan, I'm about a half inch short, but quite honestly, I'd rather be a little short than get this thing all cut out and find out it doesn't fit inside the trunk. Um, at this point here, it's almost dead on. So I'm pretty good with that. Um, I do think that I will uh, make a cardboard template that is these dimensions. And I'm up in the new shop now. I'll take it down to the, to the boat and uh, make sure that it'll fit up in there. So that may be a trick now that I'm thinking about it because I don't think the boat's... 18 inches off the floor. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to fit that center board up in there. Oh my, a new challenge. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Here are just some final pictures of the rudder where it's laminated together. We just used a West system, thickened epoxy, and uh, screwed them together as well as epoxy. Now they'll still have to be fared out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.